buying website packages, so why would you not want a packaged website? I've got a couple of them. Right, I mean, like, I've got I feel the first one has to be like, you would want a relationship with a design agency to build a website for you rather than like an off the shelf thing because like, why would you want like a predefined, this is how many pages, this is how your website will look type package. I don't think that's very good. They're uh, gonna be, gonna be gener generic as well over it, time. Well, yeah, it's always gonna be really cookie cutter. So that's one. Every project is unique. Well, yeah, like, that's the main point we want to be making in the post is that every website's totally different. It doesn't matter if you're a roofer and a roofer or a baker and a baker, you would still have different things to say and different goals with your website. That's the thing, isn't it? It's finding out, like, you can build a website, but you actually have to build your website around what you're trying to make it do. Yeah. So, like, yeah, some people it would just be conversions. Some people, it'll just be a matter of, I just need to have an online presence. And I, I think... That people will just be wanting to go, right, well, now nah, I want to use that as a tool to then gain more followers. I think if people started to think of their websites more as a marketing platform, yeah. then, it, oh, I need to just get a website because you have to have a website. Mm -hmm. That that would probably highlight more why web design, like, packages and templates. So. I feel like that's just what everybody... You get so many inquiries where people just end up coming in and going, oh, I, I just need a website. Yeah. I need to get online. Um, yeah. It's not really the point. No. We always say that about social media when they say, oh, well, he has only five social media things. They like, well, you've got to pick and choose why and mm -hmm. what you what ones you want to use and what ones are going to best benefit you. Same with the website. Like, you're going to have to pick and choose how that website works and how it looks to make sure it works for you. I hate limits and stuff as well. Like on web design packages, people always say like, oh, it's a thousand pound and you get 20 pages. It's like, cool. A, what happens if I don't need 20 pages? Or B, what happens if I need 200 pages? Then what? Yeah. That's one of the points that I had, like it's limit on the Limit, limit on the yeah, climb. limiting for limiting sake. Right, okay, we're about to head into a meeting with Paul from Ably to discuss the round five of Ably's branding and um, what's, the, I guess, the goal of the call. Hopefully, it's going to be a matter of trimming down the whole herd to at least probably two, probably going to be three. <laughs> yeah, or three four. concepts. The idea is we're probably going to end up merging a lot of the, um, the, the, the concept work from each because we've got about what? Six concepts at the moment. Yeah. And then we're gonna probably merge a few ideas, but the idea is to trim it down, get it down to two, so we can use this last round, brand, brand and round to just go for it. Well, we thought we were going into a meeting with Paul from Abley, but um, he got the day wrong, and it's actually tomorrow. So we will catch up with Paul then. Right, so we've just got a new project in and one of the first things we end up doing is we open up a Pinterest board for that to get all the research in there, all the ideas. It's a really simple and easy way to just get everything into one place so you can show the client and you can just get everybody together and get all their ideas. Um, I'm about to go on a call with a potential new client based in North Carolina, so um, yeah, I'll see how that goes and feedback in a minute. Basically, been had, had a nice busy afternoon. Um, been working on Leaf, which is a client that we've got in Belfast, trying to finish off all their print work. So, been setting up all the files, been trying to get this all done. They need to get that out quick. So, just been doing that. And then finally, going to start getting on to the new client's work with the web design in JJO Gifts. And that's been me for the day. So, basically, need to get, wrap that up and then go to go. This 
morning we realised lots of things have changed here at Kenny since we last shot a video which was about 18 months ago and we've moved office, we've got new staff members so we're going to slot them in the video here, yeah, we probably should have done this little intro on Monday morning but hey, that's life. Hi, I'm Dan Millen, I'm the lead designer at Kenny Creative, I'm basically responsible for making everything look real pretty. Uh, hello, my name is William Hurst, I'm the lead developer here at Kenny Creative. All right, today we're actually going to meet Paul from Avery. It's Wednesday, he's got the time right, we've got the time right, so the same things apply. We're going to try and review the branding round and reduce it And Let's hope this goes well. So, very successful meeting with Avery. We've now chopped it right down to one, so now it's just a matter of cracking on and really refining this logo. We're just busy reviewing the video progress so far. It's a new project here at Canny, so we're all intrigued as to how it's turning out. I think some of the desk shots are the best. It makes this video look quite interesting. Yeah, I agree. And I think like having a gorilla pod there will work. I'm sure yours is bigger, you know? I think... Oh, yeah. That's us. <laughs> We are on the hunt for a lost gorilla pod. Um, yeah, the office isn't very big, but apparently we've managed to lose something. They could have made some storage in here rather than that's just a broken air convent. <laughs> All good fun. No gorilla some pod. Light stands and no gorilla pod. In black bag number two, we have nothing at all. Pens, pencils, sketchbook tea bags, business cards. Nothing, nothing, nothing. That'll do. Me and Glenn are going to go through round five of Abley, remove all the things you don't need as we move into round six. The only problem with this project is we can't actually show much, if any of it, until it's launched. So you'll have to bear with me and trust what we're doing. Today I've been working on Ape Man Khan's website. I've been finishing off these pages, the home page, the about us, services, updates, case studies, and contact us pages. So, J. Joe's main wireframes are now complete. Um, they've been sent off for the client, so we're just hoping to get some feedback from that as soon as possible. And then we can get straight onto the main design. We have got a home page design. So the project is now definitely on a roll and it's now just needing to get going and we'll wrap it up as soon as possible. So along with JJ, we also wrapped up uh, Brandon round five of Abley and started to look at some leaf artwork set up again today. And I think tomorrow that is going to be the big thing on my plate. It'll be a lot of leaf and then moving on that. From that, you will jump. I will jump on the Avery to try and tie up round six. Hopefully, by the end of the week, and get that sent off from as soon as possible early next week. And that's me out for Wednesday. I think we should make it customary that everyone has to do a wave at the end of the day. That was a very enlightening session about voice coaching and learning lots of new tips and tricks. It's going to be fun trying to put them into effect this week. And yeah, excited to come back on Tuesday. All right, calling on from yesterday's uh, tripod hunt. We, um, we just ordered some new bits and pieces. So yeah, I'll open them up and we'll, well, we'll see what's inside. But I know what's inside is some, yeah. They are not at all tripod clips, and they must be for my wife. These are tripod clips. That's the one. I've just finished work on Eight Men Khan's website. Once the web build is complete, the last step is to check 
the design to the website after you've developed. We need to make sure that the spacings of the text and different elements of the web page are all correct and that the design is fully responsive and all the elements fall in the, into the correct place. All right, we're testing video on the new, well, I haven't got a new gorilla pod. I've got a new clamp. Glenn's got a new clamp and the gorilla pod they sent us was actually only as big as this pen and it's completely not useless. So we won't be using that and we'll be getting something else. Hi, so this morning I've taken a quick break from client work and I'm now working on canny stuff. We're doing blogs and various other things like ebooks, but at the moment I'm focusing on my blog. It's all about snack packaging design, which essentially is just making us very hungry. Um, that goes out next Thursday, so keep an eye on that. Right, so nearly quarter of a way through the blog post and hunger is definitely kicking in. Look at those cookies. I spent the best part of this afternoon fixing issues on my computer. Here yeah, is where I've been trying to fix all the issues. Drawn on the back of an invoice, uh, standard. But for Avery's testimonials, right? You know, if you had like blah blah, this is a testimonial. Then you had like your nice picture like that, kind of standard. Mm -hmm. You could almost have them mountains in shadows, kind of like coming up like a tree like that so it's like sitting in among the scenery so yeah. you bring that visual language back in when you've come down from the hero i was about to head into a meeting and i've been foiled by the american time difference yet again and i've still got another hour until the meeting it's just a little look at what's been going on this month um it's been busy in the next few days i'm gonna be busy too meeting with Avery on Wednesday morning uh, we got all the feedback uh, from round five and basically for the past two days I've been implementing this into round six we have a chosen route now and now it's down to refining that route and then seeing how it works on either digital platforms so it'll be on the desktop and the mobile along with on some other messaging and adverts and then just seeing how the logo sits as a pack itself I've recently finished a project for a client and up on preview on the website the client has requested a change which is to change the font styling. The first thing to do when making changes to a website is to CD into the project. Then once we're inside the project we can run npm run watch which looks up for any changes I make. And here is the final result. Once all the changes have been made the final step is to push it to the live server. So I've just finished up a call with JJ Gifts about their website. We've basically done a homepage and wireframed most of the site. They're really happy with it. The idea is next steps, we just skin the whole site with a new design and then we move on to build from there. And there's a few technical questions, but essentially other than that, everything seems brilliant. So we'll crack on with that next week and we'll have further updates on that. All right, it's been a busy week here at Canny. We have had a very successful meeting with Paul from Abley. We actioned round five into round six. Round six is just about complete. Will has gotten the Aitman website done. He's got the Leaf website finished. I've landed a client in North Carolina for Canny. It's gonna be a busy few months. And yeah, excited to finish this video up, see how it looks on Monday and get it out.